everyone and welcome to our back to my channel so today I am back with a super exciting video so today's video is a little bit different I'm gonna be doing a formal event get ready with me and a try on haul of some dresses I picked up like formal event dresses I feel like this time of year is really popular for weddings and homecoming is coming up me personally I just kind of forgotten how to get ready for them what do I wear how do I do my hair how do I do my makeup I just thought it would be fun to kind of get ready and show you guys some dresses that would be good for some formal events. Definitely thumbs up if you like this style of video, kind of like a little haul and then get ready with me and comment below any formal events that you guys have coming up. Before you can even get ready for the formal event, you have to have something to wear. So I did pick up quite a few dresses to show you guys. I believe all these dresses are actually under $100. They are all from Lulu's. I am partnering with Lulu's on this video. So thank you so much to Lulu's for sponsoring. I'm so excited to work with them. I absolutely love Lulu's. They have so many cute things on their website. You guys should definitely check out Lulu's if you have any formal events coming up. If I had like prom or homecoming and I was in high school, I would definitely get a dress from Lulu's. And they do have free shipping on US orders over $50 and free returns in the US. I'm gonna have links below to all the dresses I'm showing you. So if you wanna shop any of these pieces, I'm gonna have links below with sizing details and everything like that. So I think that's everything I wanna say before actually getting into the haul. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Let's just go ahead and get into the try on haul. So the first one is this one here it's just like this black strapless kind of form fitting dress and it's got kind of like a ruching detail on the side i'll show you guys a try on so you can see it better it's just like a shorter style kind of bodycon dress this would be so cute with a bunch of accessories lulu's has so many cute um shoes and accessories on their site so definitely check those out so i was editing and i just realized i totally forgot to show you the accessories that i picked up so I got these earrings they are so cute they're just like these little gold simple but also kind of statement earrings. I feel like these would just be good for any occasion. These are kind of the opposite and it's these earrings. They look like this. I just thought these were so fun and unique. I just love the shape and the colors. I just think they are so fun. And then I also picked up this little bracelet. I just think this is so cute. Once again, you could wear this to so many different formal events. It's just such a good classic. So I'll have it linked below as well. And then the last accessory is this kind of like clutch slash bag. I think this is also a good essential you definitely are gonna want some kind of bag just to put your phone and wallet and keys all of your other essentials and everything in and this one is just really classy looking it also has a lot of good storage so you unzip it here and then it has like a little snap front there is this pocket with a zipper inside up here you also have all of this space there is a lot of good storage in this bag. I absolutely love this. And then it has a long strap. You could just wear this on one shoulder or you could probably wear this crossbody as well. I think that's it for the accessories. So now I will just get back into the haul. So cute. I feel like the ruching style is really trendy and this definitely fits really good. It's just like a good little black dress. Next up, I have another black dress and this one might just be my favorite of all of the dresses, but I also kind of feel like they're all my favorite because they're all so cute and different. I love this one though if you guys watch my hauls and videos often you would know that this is like totally my style so it is this high neck i love high neck tank tops and just like this cut i also feel like it is very trendy right now it also has kind of like a lower back it's just like low enough to where it's kind of classy without being like too much a high quality like comfortable material i really just feel like you can't go wrong with this it's got a nice little slit i think this would be really flattering on anybody next up this one is also my favorite when i was trying them all on this one definitely stood out to me and it is this one here this one is so cute it's like the perfect like champagne shade it's so sparkly this one also has like a little ruching detail which you guys know i love if you watch any of my hauls i feel like this is super flattering because you can kind of like scrunch it to kind of hide any like problem areas i definitely don't have a flat stomach and i can kind of like scrunch it around my stomach area to kind of hide anything that i'm not super confident about i also feel like the neckline is super flattering it's just like the perfect v-neck i think this color would also look good all year round like for any occasion this is so cute i love the fit of this next up is this mauve dress so this one is super cute as well i think this would be good if you were going to like a wedding or some kind of like classy like dressy event so it looks like this so it's definitely like a v-neck it does have adjustable straps i think most of these do i do love the adjustable strap this one's a very comfortable like soft fabric like super super soft and then the bottom of it's like really unique kind of a 
tight short dress and then there's like a longer swooping kind of side i just think it's really pretty and unique this one definitely is very classy looking love this i think it also comes in a couple other colors next up i love this one i think if i was going homecoming this would probably be my pick or the little gold one it's this little pink sparkly one shoulder dress so it's got sequins and velvet like it's sequins on velvet which is such a pretty combination. It's, it's a little bit shorter and kind of like bodycon. I feel like the one shoulder is definitely really in right now. and very trendy. Love the one shoulder and I love the fabric detailing. Next up is this one. So this is actually pretty similar and it's this lime green sequin dress. So it's just like little sequins. So this one also has an adjustable strap. Like I said, I think they all do. Again, just very trendy. I feel like this lime green color is also very in right now as well as the one shoulder. I love this. I think this would also be really cute for homecoming or some kind of like cocktail party or something super fun and cute for sure on the lulu's website the model had it paired with like some matching green kind of heels and it was so cute so if you are getting this dress i think some matching green heels would be so so cute with it you could definitely have some fun with accessories for this one next up i have another sequin one i think this is the last sequin one this one is so fun as well this one fits really good it's like this really soft lining on the inside it's just like a really comfortable Fit. But it being sequins, it's actually really soft on the inside. It actually does have like some padding and stuff here. You probably could just wear it on its own. I just love the silver sequins on the back. This would also be really cute for like some kind of party, maybe even like New Year's. Also, I think this would be cute for homecoming. Next up is this dress, high neck coral dress and i think this is really pretty also i think when i was filming the try on for this the light was kind of shining through because it was starting to be like sunset so sorry if there's weird like light marks on the dress i think this one is super cute as well this one also has a really comfortable soft lining on the inside i think the style is really cute and trendy it's kind of like 70s vibes i feel like this style would be good for so many different events like it's classy enough that you could wear it to something more formal. It's also fun and flirty that you could wear it to like a cocktail party or homecoming. So I feel like this is definitely really versatile for different events. This would just be a good staple to have, like especially when you get like an invite for something last minute, this would just be a good dress to have on hand because it is so versatile for different events. Next up is the super cute red dress. So it just looks like this. It's a longer kind of midi style. I think this would be really cute for like a wedding, like if you were a guest. It also has a gold zipper, which I think is a nice detailing. So you could have like gold earrings, some really cute gold jewelry to kind of match with that gold zipper, kind of tie it all together. This style is just really good. It's also a really stretchy, kind of comfortable material. So you would be comfortable wearing this for a long period of time. I think this style is just so classic and I love the neckline. And then I have one more dress. This is the last one and it's this dress right here. This one was a little bit big on me and just like right here. In order for it to fit like really good, you're probably gonna wanna be a little bit fuller chested or maybe size down. But it's a really cute style. I love the back detailing. It's also a really pretty color. I think the sage green is so cute. This would also look really good for like a spring wedding or even like fall, honestly. Like I think this color looks good all year round. So this would look good if you were going to a wedding or any kind of event really really cute dress and a really cute color okay, so that is everything for the haul i just wanted to show you guys a little try on haul of some formal dresses so if you guys are going to a formal event and you want some ideas of some dresses to wear hopefully that gave you some ideas if you guys have a formal event coming up definitely check out lulu's so definitely comment below which one was your favorite i'm super curious now that i have some dresses to choose from let's just go ahead and get ready so i'm gonna do my hair and my makeup and then get dressed and kind of put the whole look together I also like to do a little bit of prep before getting ready for any kind of like event um, So like nails fake tanning I'm gonna do a little bit of prep before actually getting ready and then I will do my hair and makeup So let's just go ahead and get ready Starting off, no makeup. I haven't fixed my hair or anything. I actually just woke up. I'm just going to start off with my makeup and then do my hair. I know I look so bad right now. So I'm just going to do some kind of glam makeup. I'm probably gonna do the same base as I normally do, like the same foundation, concealer, 
powder, bronzer, blush and stuff that I normally do. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit more glam for the eyes than normal. So that is kind of my plan. I just thought I would do like a little get ready with me. Before I even get started, I'm just going to clip my hair back. So I have these little hair clips. They're actually from Glossier. Also, I don't really have a mirror. I'm just gonna use this as my mirror to get ready because I don't actually have like a tabletop mirror. I usually get ready in my bathroom, but the lighting in there is so bad. So I'm just kind of getting ready at my desk. I'm just gonna start with my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Duo. It works so well, I've used it forever. And for my brows, I like to kind of just draw a line at the bottom and then just kind of fill them in in an upward motion. And I totally forgot. I'm just going to put some moisturizer on. So this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Balance. It's just like a really lightweight kind of like gel moisturizer. I'm just going to put some of this on. That way my I'm not putting foundation on like super dry skin. Okay, so those are my eyebrows done. I know they look kind of crazy, but once I do my foundation and everything, they'll kind of like tone down a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this primer. I absolutely love this. It really just helps my makeup stay on all day. It is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I'm just gonna apply it with a brush because it does kind of leave a little bit of like a residue on my hands. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've used this forever. It's like a nice, natural finish it also has good coverage as well so i would just use like whatever your preferred foundation is so you're not like causing a breakout you don't like normally use foundation and you're only using it for a special event i would just like make sure to try out a few different shades so you can get like the right match maybe try it out a little bit ahead of time so you know that it lasts throughout the day and you like it I also recommend cleaning your makeup brushes before because i feel like makeup applies so much better with clean makeup brushes as like all my makeup brushes are dirty i meant to clean them before this video but i totally forgot this one's actually clean but i I feel like foundation especially just applies so much better with clean brushes. And just because it's like a nice event doesn't mean you have to have like a lot of foundation or like super heavy makeup. I feel like with foundation you just want like a nice even base but it doesn't have to be like super full coverage. You want to make sure it's good and blended you don't want like a foundation line so just take it kind of on your jawline make sure it's not like too like orange toned but it's like a good shade sometimes i'll take a picture with my phone like this and then make sure there's like no line or anything such an easy mistake to make i've definitely been there so just make sure that you've got the right color and the right tone i think the foundation is done there's a few different concealers that i am liking right now lately i've been using this one it's just like a random one i bought during the sephora sale super brightening it's actually quite thick I think for today i'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit more coverage it's good for those under eye circles i just put that on my under eyes and then a little bit right here i'm just gonna Blend that out. Just kind of take it all over my eyelid as well. So it just kind of brightened my under eyes. So now I'm just gonna go in with this contour wand. I feel like everybody was raving about this. It's just like a liquid contour. That will just kind of contour the cheekbones and nose and give the face a little bit of definition. This isn't like super necessary. A nice extra step. So I'm just gonna blend that out with this like stippling brush. So as you can see, it just gave my cheeks some definition. There we go. So that just kind of emphasize my cheekbones and my nose a little bit. Keep closing this after every step and then reopening it back up. Now that all the like liquid products are done on the face, I'm just going to set it with some powder. That'll just help it kind of stay all day. If I were to just leave it like this, it would just kind of like crease and melt, especially with like the heat right now. So the powder is just going to like literally lock it in, help it kind of just stay all day. I'm just gonna set it with some powder. I really like this loose powder from Laura Mercier. So I'm just going to use some of this. I'm spilling it everywhere though. I like to go in with the small setting brush first under my eyes and it'll just help it like really kind of set under my eyes. I 
I did that without a mirror, so hopefully I didn't like miss any spots. Now I'm just gonna go on some bronzer. My face doesn't really have any dimension. It just kind of looks very like colorless, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just gonna go with some bronzer, kind of bring some life back into my face. I'm just gonna use this Hula bronzer with a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks. Also just kind of on my temples and a little on my nose as well. Sometimes I'll take this on a little bit on my jawline and down my neck. So I think that looks good. Now I'm just gonna go in with some blush. I feel like blush also just adds a lot of like life. Just add some nice color. I'm gonna use this Tarte blush. I literally just use the same one like every day. So a nice kind of nude pink. And I also like to apply just a little on my nose, kind of like for a sun-kissed glow although i did apply a little too much now that that is all done i'm just gonna go in with some highlighter you gotta have a good sparkling highlight i'm just gonna use this one from laura mercy a i just use this small little brush kind of do the tip of my nose down the bridge top of my cheeks i'm going to go back in and just kind of touch up my brows because i did get a lot of like powder and stuff on them Now I'm just going to brush through my brows with this Glossier Boy Brow. It's just kind of like a brow gel, sets my brows in place, kind of adds a little bit of texture to them. I like to use the clear one and I just kind of brush in an upward motion and then I'll kind of brush through them again. Once they kind of dry, I'll just kind of go over go over the top because any hairs that are going like too too crazy now that the face is done i'm gonna do my eyes that's where i actually get creative i'm just gonna like zoom you guys in hopefully this isn't like awkwardly close or anything don't really know exactly what i'm gonna do yet but i just grabbed a few palettes so i have this palette which i've been wanting to use i also got this which I feel like has everything I need. It's this Morphe palette. I think this would be helpful as well. I think for like the final look, like once I'm already, I'm gonna go with the coral dress that's kind of has like a high neck. I think it would go for like any occasion. We're going for a coral dress, so probably warmer tones for the eyes. Starting off, I'm just gonna use some transitional shades. Probably just start with like this one. So I'm just gonna this isn't working. You have a fluffy ear brush. So I'm gonna use this brush. So I'm just kind of continuing to kind of build that color up and blend it. Actually, I just went in with a slightly darker color from that same palette, but just like one shade darker. And I'm just kind of putting that in the crease. I'm kind of leaning towards the shade right here i think it'll look really pretty with that coral colored dress like the warm kind of gold shades in the eye so i'm gonna use this i've never used these before i'm gonna use this brush it does have makeup on it already but it's kind of just like a light gold shade so i think it'll just mix right in and i'm gonna spray it with some fix plus i like applying shimmery shades on the base I like applying them wet um, with some fix plus it just kind of helps them go on better Wow, you guys see that? I'm gonna go back in with this color actually right here. It's like a light gold color and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. See how that just brightens up the inner corner. Sometimes I like to take a little bit of that on the brow bone as well i don't know if this would be like too much now that i think about it it really depends if you're going to like a wedding or something this might be like a little much maybe do something like the color i did on my inner highlight like me like right here maybe do that on the base and a little bit less dramatic so it really just depends on the event i guess i think i'm gonna take the same color that i used on my base and i'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my lower lash line I think this could look really good with winged eyeliner, but I think I'm just gonna play it safe and not do winged eyeliner. I think I'm just gonna go in with mascara. I'm definitely gonna be applying fake lashes, so I'm just gonna do a thin coat of mascara just for a nice base for the lashes. Now I'm just gonna go in with some fake eyelashes. My absolute favorite are the Queen Bee Lashes. Let's use the Duo Lash Glue. I'm just gonna put a thin coat of lash glue on them and apply these. 
is what it looks like with the eyelashes. And I'm just gonna finish it off with some lipstick or some lip products. I'm gonna use this lip liner. I'm gonna use this lipstick, it's from Giorgio Armani. I just got this in a PR package. I think this color will look nice. That's what that looks like. I think I'm actually gonna go over it with this um, lip gloss. I do like how it looks with the makeup and I feel like it's a nice color combo. That is the makeup finished. I hope it's not like too much. So let me know what you guys think. I haven't done glam makeup in a while so I feel like I kind of went a little crazy. Obviously you can adjust it however you like for an occasion. This is how I would do my makeup. Next up, hair. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I am just going to section my hair off. I think I'm gonna do something with loose waves because that's just what I personally like the best. So I'm just gonna start off by actually curling my hair. This curling wand, I think it's one inch or one and a fourth inch. I'm just gonna start off by curling my hair. So I just kind of wrap the hair around the wand and hold it for a little bit and then let it out. And I have this on the highest heat setting, which is really bad for your hair, but I only hold it on for a second and I do use heat protector. I'm just going to kind of curl everything and get some nice waves going. I do have some waves kind of from the day before, but they're pretty like fallen out, I forgot to say, but I do like to alternate direction. I will kind of curl away from my head and then I will go towards my head and I like to alternate direction so they don't look like too uniform. I also like to give a little bit of space at the bottom. I am just going to curl everything and honestly, I am not a professional. I really am not super good when it comes to hair. Bottom layer is all curled. Um, so I just took the top layer out of the clip and now I'm gonna curl this. I don't think I'm gonna do a middle part because I kind of want to do like old Hollywood kind of like swooped over. I think I'm gonna change my part a little bit. I just go over the top. No, oh, this isn't on. I'm just gonna do basically the same thing. So here is what my hair looks like once it is all curled. I think I'm just going to kind of take a section here and just kind of like twist it. I don't know. I literally don't know any like good hairstyles and I tried to look some up, but they are all just like super complicated. And a girl had her hair just kind of clipped back like this and I just really liked it. Side parts are out, so I don't know. But I feel like for a formal event, like it would be okay. I don't think I have any clips. I have one. I have one. I think I can make it work. And you can definitely get like little sparkly hair clips. Like Lulu's sells a bunch of those. It like works. It's not the best thing ever, but it's something that would be really easy to do. Like this probably took me less than 15 minutes. You definitely want a hairspray. I usually use the big and sexy hairspray and it locks my hair in pretty well without it being crunchy. Now that the hair is done, I'm just gonna get dressed in my Lulu's dress. Like I said, I'm gonna do the coral one with like the high neck. Then we can accessorize and just kind of like put it all together. So just got dressed, here is what it looks like. So I just think this is such a cute, kind of like versatile dress. I love this bright, fun color, especially for the summertime. I actually really like how the hair turned out. I think it looks really nice. I also like the makeup. I think it complements this dress well. Now I'm just going to accessorize. I did pick up some accessories from Lulu's. I think I already showed you guys in the haul portion of this video. I have these earrings. I think these would look really elegant and nice. Um, I'm not gonna do a necklace just because it does have a high neckline, so I don't think it's necessary. And then I have this clutch. It's just like really classic and I have black heels on just like plain classic black heels that I just kind of like already had. Lulu's has a lot of good shoes as well so you should definitely check them out if you're needing some shoes. So I just grabbed this. It's just like this black like little clutch bag. It's like dressy. It's hard to find good like dressy bags. There's the earrings. Um, I also have this bracelet and I honestly like mixing metals like gold and silver. I feel like it's really trendy to mix metals. I think I'm gonna wear it on the wrist so that I don't have the purse on. It doesn't really matter. Got the dress, got the hair, got the makeup. 
accessories. I think that's everything. Obviously like perfume, deodorant, all that kind of stuff, hairspray. I think that's everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and you'd like to see more videos like this on my channel. Comment below what formal events you have coming up. Next time you guys do have a formal event coming up, you should definitely check out Lulu's. I'm gonna have everything I showed in this video linked below in the description. Thank you so much again to Lulu's for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.